By 7 a.m., the poor youth regional leaders had converged at the road leading to the former Premier John Patrick Amama Mbabazi home in Kololo. From here, they walked to Mbabazi's house. After check at the gate, they were ushered in as Mbabazi emerged from the house amid his applause. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Thank you. Most welcome. The team had gone to hand him a certificate of endorsement to contest for the presidency in 2016. Led by the coordinator Issa Kato, they told Mbabazi that they feel he is the right person to lead the country. We ask you to please accept it and come as our presidential candidate with the youth and the people of Uganda who are poor. They also brought up the issue of poverty which they say the government has barely addressed. Mbabazi agreed with them on this matter, adding that it is at a crisis level and should be urgently addressed. We have uh, made statements about this in Parliament and I agree with you that this has now reached a crisis level. He urged the youth not to rush in their bid to encourage him to stand for the presidency. The request to you therefore is please don't rush these things. Mbabazi said he would choose the right time to announce his next move. It would be inappropriate for me at this time to make a statement about my position on what leadership role I will be playing or I will aspire to play. You get me? This is, uh, this is not the time for it. It is not the time for it at all. The group then handed him the certificate of endorsement. Mrs. Zimbabwe was also present. Thank you very much. I'll keep it for him. Okay. Yes. Up to now, the former Premier has not yet come out to give his stand on whether he will stand for the 2016 general elections, despite the pressure from the different groups of people. But with the general elections that are nearing, could we see him bowing down to the pressure? More research all NTV.